All right, now like a campaign, I have a promise for you. So, a profile on Boon Kava, AKA Shrike, shuffled around a number of youth crisis centers before they were all shut down due to budgetary constraints. Paroled from Blackgate two weeks ago, moved in with another youth home rejectee. Where would you for side, Shrike only became Shrike after Blackgate radicalized him. Ooh, there was a little prison commentary there, how prison radicalizes non-violent criminals. Oh. So I was gonna say that Look, Bill Finger and then Jack Paul Kirby. Dini. Yeah, is that Jack Kirby from like yeah. comics? And then look, Paul Frank Dini, Miller. Bob Kane. I thought those were all really cool. It is cool. I wonder if that's Jack Kirby or not. I'm not sure. Unless there's I like that guy Kirby. whose name is Mozzarella. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And that's probably Frank Miller. Did you say that one already? Yes. So I was going to say that with this, the quality of this Let's Play, the reason we haven't uploaded it in a while is I was really unhappy with it. And that would be this quality you're seeing here. So if you're like, why hasn't it changed then, you moron? That's why. Because it's still the same. But here's the thing. In about five minutes, I found a better way to record this. So this is the last five minutes of the poor quality version. Yeah, but if we record it that way, I can't react to it real time. So we have to react to it afterwards if we want me in the Let's Play. Yeah, which I do. Yeah. Uh, so that's why we're, again, reacting to it afterwards. But I figure it's also easier to have conversations anyway, uh, you know, and actually be able to say something about the game while I'm not being bombarded by dialogue in my head. Yeah, like every two seconds. I did like that we ran into Dr. Doom here. I thought that was pretty cool. It was BDSM Doom. Yeah. Do you think that's Robert Downey Jr.'s version of the character? Yeah, absolutely. That's I think so. Cool. I think he's going to be like, Mr. Stark, why are you tying me up? I like Mr. That... Stark, what are you putting in my ass? I I like that he joined the DC universe. Yeah, me too. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, I'm really glad. Oh. <clears throat> Look how good I did. Barbara, there. what the hell are you doing? I thought you were Shrike. Oh, you must have just missed no, him. No, I mean, what the hell are you doing here? Like I was trying to tell you earlier, I'm the one who called in the anonymous tip about this guy. Go home. Shrike is armed, and your dad would not. My dad only knows about this lead because of me. Something big's going down tonight. Bigger than these riots, which, by the way, I had to fight my way through to get here. Not to mention sneaking past three police barricades, scaling a fence, and crossing the Perdition Bridge while it was on fire, all to catch the one guy who could lead us straight to the Rat King tonight. That's all illegal. You can't do that. And you tell me to go home? Yes. <sighs> I work alone, Barbara. Fine. Thanks for the tip, Barbara. Couldn't have done it without you. I like how she mocks you. Um, move. <laughs> this was my favorite part that I could just stand in her way and not let her get by. Step aside, please. No, I don't think so. I do not consent to your search. No, you I don't think leave, I will. So move. Also, I don't listen to people whose mouth doesn't line up with their. Look, uh, you sounds. did the crazy symbol. I, I'll just stand here all night with you and let Gotham perish. Yeah, I thought her, the blood her voice of an looked entire a little city weird. Is on your hands, Batman. Yeah, that's right. But it's I, me, Batman. I couldn't figure out how to fix it in the editing, and I figured we were going to switch over to the other recording anyway, so... Which we do in a second here, but... Yeah. I did the... By the way, I'm keeping this crowbar. Don't care. Bye! I, like, don't care. I like their dynamic here. I know, it's like a... So... It's like a dad. Now listen to the game. Do you see how much better you can hear it? Look, and you can see way more of the screen now because it's not recording just a tiny part of it. I had to completely crop my view of it, though. So I talked to Ryan Payton, you know, the lead developer here. Um... I need to pick up Shrike's trail again, reestablishing chemical trace. So the only thing I don't like is that sometimes the the um, dialogue still doesn't appear on the bottom. Yeah, so it kind of seems like the very bottom of the screen is cut off. So I'd like you to look down a little more when you're doing it, just because all of the subtitles in this are cut off. Boone, Carver. At Blackgate Prison. Brother, it's me. Sorry to split, but I got called to serve. I can't tell you everything that happens next, but it's like our Rat King says, the only way out is through the cops, the courts, and the clink. I know you understand. Love you, brother. See you soon. So yeah, I can't help that some of those things are cut off on the bottom, but I think I can look down more next time. 
It's just, that's my biggest problem with this game, is that it's really hard to record. Yeah, it seems like every single way you try to do it is imperfect. Like, um, you can hear it better now, and you can see it better. This is just talking about the Rat King's recent message, basically saying that he would attack on Independence Day and calling out the rich, saying that he'd go hey, after the elite. That's written by Olivia Ortega. Is she the hot sister of Jenna Ortega, you think? I don't... Anyone related to Jenna Ortega is probably hot. Probably. But you get what I mean, though, Jill? Like, it's... To me, I could see, I could see those dialogue things on the bottom, right? Yeah. One thing I thought was cool, by the way, is again they mentioned Tiger Security in here. Oh, that's really cool! Like leading up to the events of Asylum and City. Yeah. Yeah, and basically talking about how this helped lead to Tiger Security getting so much, um, mm -hmm. so much power. They they also mentioned McGregor Syndrome, which I think was a reference to what Alfred had in Batman and Robin, the movie. Oh, what's McGregor syndrome? It was a uh, incurable illness that Batman had to get Mr. Freeze's help to cure. Oh. McGregor's syndrome. I must save my 80-year-old best friend. It's a fictional condition in the Batman mythos, which is affiliated as the disease that it infects. Oh, it, it also affects Nora Freeze. I didn't know. Oh, that, that makes sense. That's why he was able to help him. That's uh... right. I just couldn't remember. So does he fix Nora on that? Uh, yeah, well, it's also, kind of a big uh, plot point. I like these posters, by the way. It had Basil Carlo as the actor in some of them, and there was a gray ghost poster. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was really cool. Again, though, I'm really not sure how much of this you can see compared to me. I do think that we need to mess around with it a little more. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to do because we're using the developer's hub, and I can't see anything that you're seeing while it's recording. So I think that what we need to do next time is another test yeah. and see how much of the screen you can see. Like if, when if I you record. notice, if you notice at the top, sometimes you'll see like black, like where you're moving. And I think it's because it's recording up towards the top and not all the way onto the bottom. Oh, and I'm not that's so weird. I'm not yeah. sure how to fix it. It's kind of odd. And that was kind of the best I could do so far with this. When a person of privilege suffers a paper cut upon their figure, District Attorney Dent rides in upon his horse to outlaw paper and prevent such tragedy. But when the rat falls to the storm swollen sewer, the sewer drowns. Um, Gotham, basically, I think I looked away, but basically he said that Gotham doesn't do anything. Yeah. Gotham laughs. Oh, Gotham laughs. And then I started playing darts, by the way. I know, I noticed this. I was like, what in the world are you doing? I thought it was fun. It is fun. I, I like that you can't get the bullseye at all. You keep trying to get the bullseye, but you can't do it. And eventually you give up and just shove the dart into the middle of the thing. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. We're going to watch it happen. No, I got the bullseye. Look, I just got it from really close. No, watch. you didn't. Look at this. I'm just really close. See? Oh. Well, excuse me. So look, I got the bullseye. That makes sense. <laughs> I like your cheering. I was happy. You did a good job. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, I prefer this way of... Shrike's trail ends at this bookshelf. There must be something behind it. I prefer this way of recording, but I really want to see the subtitles. Yeah, I want to see the subtitles, too. I don't know how to fix it. I'm sorry about that. We, we can try to mess with it later, but... We will, um, but... It, it sounds so much better, though. The audio quality is so much better in this recording, though, than it was in the other recordings, in well, my opinion. The other ones, it sounded like we were playing a microwave game. Yeah. Like, I just... I don't know. My biggest thing with this game is I actually feel like it's held back by the meta quest. I like, feel like it is too. Like, I think this game is really fun and I really like it, but like, I have never played a game where Let's Playing it is such an inferior, like watching a Let's Play of it is such an inferior way to experience the game. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so, and it's like, I want to share it with you guys because I enjoy it. I like this stuff. I find it interesting. I thought this girl was hot, by I'll the way. move the bookshelf. Yeah, you touched her butthole. Well, no, it's covered. Um, this is kind of like that, uh, what was it? The El Elvrin pinup girl type thing? Yeah. But anyway, I like this game a lot, but it's so hard to share with a you safe. guys. Four-digit passcode. I should locate more evidence to unlock it. I mean... Setting up a perimeter now. Even with the DS, you know, there's ways to record that. And you'd think that would be an impossible system to record on. There's ways to do it and make it look decent. 
Oh yeah, a hundred percent. By the way, I know that I have to go back to that thing on the wall. I just wanted to look and see if you could get anything out of it. I cut past you doing that because it was annoying. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just joking. It wasn't annoying. Um, so I like this puzzle a lot, and I think it's really cool. Cops' courts clink. The pillars must fall. The paint in this graffiti contains trace amounts of butane, similar to what's in Shrike's lighter. That's why his trail led here. I need to find more evidence. I think it's really cool that you walk around and try to solve this puzzle, but at the end, Batman just gives you the answer instead of letting you figure it out for yourself, and it kind of annoyed me. Also, that looks GCPD like an A instead of a 4. The cops. Police are targets of the rats. Detecting traces of acetic acid, ammonium sulfate. This photo was captured on 35mm film and developed in a home lab. The number is 4. I thought it looked like an A. But yeah, I don't like that he just gives you the answer at the end instead of letting you figure it out. It was like, it was the kind of puzzle I feel like a child could figure out on their own. Wow. So I felt like it was just a little bit lame that he had to go and tell you the answer instead of letting you feel good about yourself. Well, so I get that, but I kind of just saw it the way they did it in Arkham Origins where you find all the stuff in the crime scene and then Batman says it. But yeah. I, I would have I always preferred, so they did it in the spirit of what Origins did. I guess I would have always preferred letting you figure it out a little more. Solomon Wayne Courthouse. The courts. Rats are targeting the justice system. Another number handwritten in Alkaline Film Agent. The numbers are 1-1. One, one. Yeah, but he says it like so plainly. Like he'll look at the GCPD thing and be like, um... Here's the answer. Yeah, here's the answer. Like he'll be like, look, look at this, that's, by the way. that's the clink and that one's the courts. And you put the numbers in this order. Yeah, okay. Well, I like the rat battle armor being there. That I, one is pretty cool. I get what you're saying. I do think, though, that it's just they were doing it the way Arkham Origins did it. And my thing with Arkham Origins was always, I love that they went more detective. But I actually thought that Batman Telltale went a little bit more detective than Origins ever did. Mm -hmm. You know, where you were going into crime scenes and, like, actually kind of solving it. Well, um, as someone who loves detective games, I always find it disappointing when um, games tell you the answer instead of letting you figure it out. I think that they assume people playing Batman aren't as smart. Blackgate Prison, a.k.a. The Clink. The rats have their sights set on it. One last number's embedded in this photo. Shrike was hiding these for someone close to him. The number is 8. GCPD, Wayne Courthouse, Blackgate Prison. Three photos with hidden numbers on each of them. Cops, courts, clink. 4118. That must be the safe's passcode. See, he just told you the entire line of thinking there. Like, there was no... There was no figuring it out. Right, I understand. All I'm saying is that's the same as in Origins. And it's the same as in Night. Yeah, I mean, I know. like, in Night, you literally... A secret passage. Like the one connecting the sewers with Bank of Gotham. Rats move behind the walls. So, like, in Night, you can literally see Victor Zaz in one of those recordings, remember that? Yeah. And he doesn't even react to it. Yeah. Because it's just an Easter egg, and so it's like, oh, well, I'm not reacting to that because that's not the story. Mm -hmm. That's always been an Arkham problem. So it's like, I agree with you. It's just, I don't want to put that on this game because it's literally just a problem with the whole series. To me, it was less noticeable in some of the other games just I've because... Lost Reich's trail. Poor ventilation in here. I'll need to search for more evidence. Setting up a perimeter. Just because it felt to me like, um... Like, he at least let you make certain choices, you know? Like, you could go around and find all the dead bodies at night to figure out that it was Professor Pig doing it. Yeah. And, and it wasn't from the very beginning, like, oh, it's Professor Pig doing it. You, like, you kind of figured it out over time. I'm and not, I at least enjoyed stuff like that. I'm not trying to prove you wrong. I'm just saying that, like, all of the other mysteries, though, it's like Riddler calls you and he's literally immediately like, oh, the Riddler. Cellulose. Highly flammable and extremely dangerous in large quantities. Shrike could have been using it to build a bomb. I should keep looking. Or it'll be like, you get a call from Victor Zaz, and immediately within 10 seconds, he's like, Victor Zaz. I'm just saying that I've always wished that the Batman games had done a little less, like, 
Batman telling you who you're talking to or what the puzzle is. Yeah. Um, but with, with all of them. But with the Riddler puzzles, he doesn't tell you the answer straight away. No, but he doesn't tell you the answer to what I'm about to figure out in a minute either. That's true. He doesn't, which is, I was actually really impressed that they give you like three options to decide. Shrike wasn't building a bomb. The nitrocellulose was used to make nitrate film stock. Rat King propaganda film. This must have been the editing room. But there's no projector here. Where would they screen it? Well, that is the question. You know, it's funny, as simple as this puzzle is, I still, like, had to think about it. Because, like, when I get to it, I was like, no, there's no way that's the answer. That's too easy. You yeah. Know what I mean? Like, I started psyching myself out, thinking, like, no, it can't be that. I just want it to be that. Two sets of fingerprints. Shrike had an accomplice. These other prints could belong to his roommate. Alfred, can you find any matches for these prints? GCPD database searches are coming up empty. I'm not finding anything either. Unlike Shrike, the owner of those prints doesn't appear to have a criminal record. The night is young. I've scanned all the evidence. I can determine where Shrike and his accomplice have gone based on what I've found. Yeah, so here, over here, they have multiple choices. And this, I wonder if they were inspired by Telltale, because Telltale kind of did this kind of idea with the making choices. So for this, I kind of thought because it was so obvious that you would might want to go to the Monarch Theater that maybe you would choose, like, Ace Chemicals because of all the chemical stuff yeah, in here. Yeah, like... The Monarch Theater. If Shrike and his accomplice were making films for the Rat King, they could be screening them there. Excellent deductions, huh? I'm noticing an unusual amount of activity near there. The nitrocellulose will help me re-establish a trace on Shrike and his accomplice. Got it. Heading to the Monarch Theater now. So by the way, if you have any um, suggestions in the comments for like how to fix the field of view, you can let us know, because we're now using the development mode. Yeah, Shrike and his water boy just left. Hey, Shrike says that kid's been a little brother to him since before Blackgate. Well... Gotta go the movement somehow. Go easy on him. He's a kid. Looks up to Shrike. Little brothers, fresh recruits. We're all family to the Rat King. I like that the Rat King is so kind and clearly not using this cult for his own, um, you know, things. Oh yeah, this, definitely. This made me wonder if when we got here, I know we wouldn't have been able to see him, but they said Shrike just left. It made me wonder if Shrike saw Batman. It kind of makes me wonder that too, since you could see the lobby. Yeah. But I don't know. That would have been certainly interesting. Hey, where's Shrike? Took to the rooftops. He's mobile. He's mobile, huh? Not for long. <laughs> did you see I was able to pull myself up here? I, I saw you did. You did a very good job. You did a very good job. I had to cut a lot of stuff from this part, actually, and I'll tell you when we get to it why. Did I do something stupid? Yeah. What? Well, you'll, you'll find out when we get to it. It's after the fight. Because I thought I did a pretty good job here. You do a great job with the fight. Look, you're beating them all up real good. Look, they're wearing that their was stupid bad. masks. You tried I started that. flailing. That's okay. Because I got nervous because of the gun. Well, I didn't know how to deal with the gun. I know they told me, but they, I was having a... They told you you have to punch to the side for that one, remember? No, that's just for the normal um, counter. Oh. I think there's a way to throw a battering at him. I have to mess with it. Oh. But I had thought that overall I am getting, like, less terrible. Yeah, I mean, I think you're doing a great job. A big part of me kind of wishes this was um, just a normal Arkham game on a normal console so I could play it too, because the motion sickness on the MetaQuest 3 is too much for me. I didn't have any of that problem with the PlayStation VR. Yeah, but it's not that you can't play VR, it's just this. On the 3, it's just, it's really upsetting to me. I don't know why, it gave me a panic attack. I don't know what it is, and I, I do wonder if, like, turning that motion blur setting off would help, but it's not in there. Like, there's not one for this game. Yeah, there were some settings they said to change for, like, motion sickness, which I guess I could mess with. Enforcements for Shrike. Now to the rooftops. I made sure he wasn't getting back You up. did, you did. So here's the part where I had to cut a bunch of stuff and you'll notice some skips. It's because you kept falling down. And so basically I just kind of skipped to the part where you finally got up here. Oh, oh, by the way, over here I punched the ceiling. Yeah, you do, it's really funny. But yeah, no, I get what you're saying. I think I that- an accomplice. They took the rooftops. Right here, the like when I originally did this, so 
I tried to reach too high for this, and I that's where I punched that's where the, you ceiling. Punched the ceiling. And did you see my hand where I went, ow? I did see that. I knew that was where you punched the ceiling because I saw you, like, jolt back, and I thought it was really funny. It really hurt. So that's my big criticism is I don't feel like VR games are made for tall people, and I did sink my height. You did sink your height, but I'm you're just, just you're overly tall. You can touch the ceiling when you're standing up in our house. Well, it makes me wonder how, like, someone like Shaq would play a game like this. Could he just not? I don't know. Is Shaq taller than you? I thought he's he was like the same height as you. seven feet tall. Oh, he is? Yeah, he's huge. The guy's he, massive. He must have to have high ceilings in his house. He can afford it. Yeah, he's huge. Power is confirmed secure. Several firearms are still missing. Doesn't he also have a special bed? Follow up on reports of a theater break in Uh, like... Like for a his special height. ed bed or something? Like no, for his height. His bed like go to like special ed classes or something? I yeah, so that that his feet wouldn't hang off the edge like yours did. Oh, that makes sense. We had to buy a California king, and your feet still reach the end of the bed. I wanted to tell you this thing I keep seeing. It's Batman related, and I keep seeing the it. Monarch, Master Bruce, are you all right? Better than those rats will be. My mommy and daddy died here. Well, they died out back. He'll be fine. <laughs> as long as he doesn't go out back. I was going to tell you this thing I keep seeing with um, Michael Keaton. Mm -hmm. And it's this criticism of him I keep seeing online because, he, you know, he was going to play Batman in the Batgirl movie, you know, before the DCEU got retooled. Yeah, before they got rid of it. Stay frosty. Batman's around. Um, well... They, uh, people keep asking him, hey, do you care that they canceled the movie? Alfred, tell Gordon I've located more guns stolen from the Bowery. Guns. Lots of guns. And he said, no, I didn't care one way or another. Big fun. Nice check. Uh, saying, uh, and he made a joke rubbing his fingers together for money. And then he said, I like those boys. They're nice guys. Um, about the Batgirl directors mm -hmm. saying, I pull for them, I want them to succeed, and I think they felt very badly, and that made me feel bad. Me, I'm good. And So it's he like, didn't care either way because he probably knew it was not a great movie. Well, he said he had fun coming back to play Batman again in The Flash and in Batgirl. And That's he, good. And he seemed excited to have played Batman again, like, for a few years, you know, like he was going to be Batman for a few years in mm -hmm. the DCEU before it turned into the James Gunn reboot. Um, which you can have your own opinions on. Personally, I would have rather fixed the old continuity than just ditched it, but I know Same. a lot of people d didn't, so whatever. I hope the new one's good. I kind of think it's a waste of time and money that even though the movie was done, they didn't at least just, like, throw it on a streaming service or something for people to watch. Yeah, they like, just... You didn't need to do a big premiere and waste more money, but... No. And I... also, by the way, I was going to say here, you can tell that the audio, it's not a big deal, but, like... I think we need to pull the audio back a little bit, because can you hear how it got off with the grapple? I couldn't tell. You couldn't tell? No, I couldn't tell. Oh, that's okay. Well, it's just, it's something with the MetaQuest, when you record for more than 20 minutes, it, like, desyncs its audio. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't know what the deal is with that, but it doesn't desync it for you when you're playing. No. Also, that looked bad. Like, you were supposedly going down and kicking that guy, but it looked like ass in the game. Oh, I thought it looked good. I don't know why you're so hard on this game. I think it you're just... It didn't look good because it just flashed to a different camera angle, and all you saw was the guy's head, they're doing... and then it flashed back. Well, they're doing the best they can with technology that's relatively new, Jill. I know. I just would have preferred to see him actually fly over to kick him in the head, which they do show sometimes so I don't understand why that one time it didn't show that I, I think it's just because I was hanging down I was trying to go down for an inverted takedown oh maybe I just didn't understand that then so I, I think it's fair like it's it you can you tell the audio is off now and now I can't sometimes it's hard for me to understand what like movements Batman is doing because you can't see his body well, I think we're going to have to fix that next time. The audio? Yeah, just try and move it back a little bit. Listen, I tried my best with this. The MetaQuest 3 has a lot of problems, and I'm not a profesh. I know, but I'm not criticizing you. I'm just saying I think next time we'll try and fix that a little bit more. Okay. But I was going to say that with the Michael Keaton thing, it's weird to me because, like, you know, what you just said, like, oh, so he probably didn't care because, you know, he got paid and he had fun, right? And knew the movie wasn't that great. Sure, but he was never mean about it. But I've seen a lot of people spin it as if he was being a dick. Like, oh, I just came back for money. All I care about is money. He was making a joke. Oh, like Michael well, that's Keaton, not very nice. He was literally just making a joke. Like, oh, it's not a big deal to me. And then that's all that all of these articles have put. 
they've all just put this thing about how oh michael keaton just cares about money he just came back to play batman for money which by the way is his job so like who would even care if that was true but if you read the actual quote that's not it that's not no. i don't understand it's like when they spin what trump says or anyone it's, it's like when he says like yeah i really like black people and they spin it and they're like trump <laughs> called this guy the n-word right and so then when there's a legitimate criticism of that person it's lost on all of these like false narratives you know what i mean so it's like if michael keaton actually did something bad and this this is the same thing by the way speaking of that election that you know was very obviously used um to like justify a lot a vigilante keeps the status quo is no hero you're a tool of oppression a cop with a cape you take orders from fascists who ignore our screams until we're strike went through that gate i like how you just stopped listening i know he didn't he's care he's as long-winded as his king and Alfred called him long-winded, which I thought was really funny. All I was going to say, though, is like, so I normally don't bring up the political stuff that often just because I don't want to piss people I off. I triangulated but... the source of the sewer broadcast, sir. The origin point is right ahead. But that thing you just said about Trump, so it'll be like there will be 10 articles and nine of them will be like changing the narrative to like fit what you want. So then the one article that would be legitimate criticism of like, hey, maybe this isn't a great idea or hey, Maybe this is not a great way to, you know, say something. Never been to a premiere. It gets lost. Yeah, it gets Be lost in translation. I don't see no red carpet, Bruce Wayne. You see Bruce Wayne anywhere? Still stoked. I missed the ones earlier this year. Yeah. You're in for a treat. Well, Look, that's. It says Gotham dies soon. Isn't that cool? It is cool. That's why I think you got to be careful when you're like the media and stuff and you're, I, I didn't know what I was doing here, sorry. That's okay, you're trying your best. And you're reporting something because like, let's say that I, um, let's say I made a joke and I said like something as a joke and you reported as like fact, right? Like you reported as like, hey, look, he's a racist. And then let's say I actually say something racist. Well, anyone who reads that article, the, the thing is they're banking on people not reading it. And just reading the headline. Same mm -hmm. with Michael Keaton. They Which want... a lot of people do, especially on Twitter. Yeah, well, those people are idiots. But they, they're banking on that. And anyone who does read it, though, you've tanked your credibility. Because next time, they're not going to even read your thing or believe you. Yeah. Or they'll just assume you're lying right away. Yeah. So it's like, it's not worth it. Well, and... that's kind of how I feel about a lot of news sites now when I started realizing they were lying. Yeah. And then it's like, well, now I just don't even pay attention to them. Yeah, you just like don't even care and it's like even when it's the boy who cried wolf because it's like even when they're telling the truth now you just assume they're probably not so it's it's i don't understand why they don't get that i like that there's an upgrade tree in this like the other games have i feel i feel like that's really cool it makes some of the arkham asylum noises too when you do the upgrade i know like, i really like it do this isn't that awesome yeah they put a lot of love into these parts of the game, I feel like. What, did your check just clear in the mail? You just went from every criticism under the sun to loving that part of the game. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, you know, there, there's a lot of great things about this game. I'm going to point out some of the things I think are silly looking. But, like, the only reason that they are silly looking or don't or don't perform great is, in my opinion, because of the console it's on. If you took this game and made it, like, a full-on console game, um, and, Like you you're know, saying PlayStation VR? Yeah, or or even if you put it on just like the PS5 and you let people walk around in first person like this, I feel like it would be amazing, like absolutely amazing, and there'd be a lot less glitches. You'd have to totally retool the game though and how it works in order to. Well, yeah, that. you'd have to map everything to a controller. It would be difficult, but I'm just saying, like, if you did that, I feel like it would be amazing. I just don't know how you'd do stuff like picking up items like with your hands. I, I think PSVR would. I definitely yeah. think the game could work on PSVR. No, I completely agree. I'm just saying that, like, I feel like the MetaQuest 3 wasn't a great choice for this. That's just my biggest criticism of the game, not the, not the game itself. No, I get that. I thought this was really cool. Hi, I'm Harvey Dent, and I want to thank you for calling the Dent for Gotham campaign. I'm proud of what we've accomplished since my term as district attorney began. There is so much more we can accomplish in the years to come. For information on my platform and what I believe in, Press one. To make a donation, press two. Sick harvest back. Greatness from small beginnings. It's Gotham City's bottom. And that greatness is something that I've always believed we could achieve. Now, some might say that putting Carmine Falcone in Blackgate Prison isn't exactly a small beginning. But I won't be satisfied until we end all 
homelessness on our streets. Give our city the fairness and order that it deserves. I promise Gotham City. Two, that is the number that can change everything. Despite what my critics have said about my campaign being funded by a billion, the average donation to my election campaign was only two dollars. That is the price of a district attorney who will fight for you. Not the wealthy criminals who have had Gotham City's justice system in a stranglehold for years. And that is all I'm asking for to continue fighting the good fight. If the law of averages has shown us anything, that should be more than a couple bucks to change everything. Just ask Carl and Cockerley. Instead of a recurring donation of two dollars a month, head to our campaign website. Whether you donate or not. Thank you. Did you see? I was trying every button to see if you'd say anything else. Yeah, I know. I thought it was funny. I did like two is the number that could change everything. Two face. Thank you for calling oh. 911. We are currently experiencing. This doesn't really matter much. They just say Your call is that it's 911. But true. I like with Two Face or with Harvey how he's not Two Face yet, and when you click two, he says two is the number that can change everything because it's for donations. But it has a double meaning. And also, he Two Face. Also for donations, that's money, and he flips a coin. Yeah. That's kind of a also a connection. I feel like. City seized the whole thing. the direct reference to Joker. I like that too, but I wish that that recording wasn't so quiet. I don't know why actor. it was. No matter where I put it, it was quiet. I couldn't turn it up more. Like, I, I put that up to max Fucked. and it still wasn't loud enough. Weird. Yeah, wherever I put that on my um, hands, or like with my hands, I couldn't. It was very odd. Also, I couldn't figure this out yet, and I'm wondering if we're going to get like a something that I can do with this. I don't know, because it looks to me like you have to climb on those bars, but how would you be able to... There's no jump button. Yeah, that's kind of my problem with it, is like, how would you climb on that? Maybe maybe this is the part for Shaquille O'Neal. This is where he can <laughs> finally do it. Well, that's why I couldn't... Like, I can't reach up there. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really know what you're supposed to do with that. It was kind of confusing. You know how you mentioned Basil Carlo on one of those posters? Mm -hmm. I also saw another... Clayface on a poster, I believe. Oh, really? I think I th you'd see him in here. Sold out. He's armored. First a cape stun, then the beat down. Hey, it's like another Arkham game. You you cape stun him and then you beat him down. I was gonna say to you, by the way, that I think <laughs> did you see I gave him a hat bat on? That was down. funny. I was gonna say to you, by the way, that I think that when we get PlayStation VR, which I'm actually willing to get. Mm. It will be a lot easier to record stuff on there. I think a lot of our criticisms of this game, um... I need to find a way around. I suggest up. Plenty of scaffolding to reach the roof entrance. Maybe I was just thinking of Basil Carlo there. Um, but I was gonna say that I think a lot of our problems stem from trying to record. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. if you're just playing on the MetaQuest, it's very fun. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, I feel like just playing on it is really fun. map of the Bowery. I can scan this with detective vision. Especially if you don't have motion sickness problems like I do. Well, it's weird to me that the motion sickness, um... Defaced by the rats, as expected. These markings could be codes for drop sites. I'll add them to your map, sir. So this is a big problem I have with, like, VR gamers, like, that are really defensive of it, is whenever you tell them you have, like, motion sickness issues, they're like, oh, change this setting. Oh, do this. Oh, do that. Oh, it's just a you problem. You're the problem. It's like, well, there are a lot of people who never get over their motion sickness. Yeah. Like, they just can't help it. Like, you get car sickness. I do. And so these games, and this is no fault of camouflage or anything. It's just how the games work. It's kind of like if I said, oh, you have epilepsy. You can't go to the strobe light club Locked. dance off. There must be a switch somewhere. You know, what the hell, dude? It's like... Well, you well, just need to get good. Yeah, it's like there's a point where I think that's one reason why a lot of VR gamers are so unlikable, because yeah. at the end of the day, they are so angry that there's like criticism of their medium that sometimes it's like, well, that person can't help it. Like, there's not actually a change they can make. It's almost over. What are you, my soldier? 
security. Be sharp. We've had enough failure. Whatever. Well, like, hey, here's an example. The fact that you can play some PSVR games goes to show it's not like, oh, you can't play any VR. There's literally just some certain things with the meta quest that actually just make you feel more ill with the field of view. Yeah, I don't know. Something about it really bothered me that, like, things like Job Simulator didn't bother me with on PSVR. You know? And it's like, oh, turn a fan on. We had a fan on. Oh, change this setting. We did. You know, it's like, there, at some point, maybe, like, that that just can't be played by everybody. And that should be something that, even if you like this, you know, thing, even if you like this type of game, you should be able to admit that. Like, yeah. hey, this doesn't work for some people. Those people are getting cut out of the experience. Also, I believe that was the end. It was. Wasn't it? Yeah. But I did want to... I did want to say, let's throw up a picture, like a cool Batman Arkham Shadow picture. Yeah, let's throw up a picture of Mr. Incredible again. <laughs> You're an idiot. Elastigirl, by the way, might be one of the hottest Disney characters of all time. Oh, yeah, like, for sure. Especially prime young Elastigirl, but then also like thick MILF Elastigirl might be better. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I really, really liked when he said, I work alone, Barbara. Yeah. And then I put in the Mr. Incredible thing. That was hilarious. I feel like I'm a funny person. I'll have you know. I thought that was funny. I want to maybe play this again tonight. It's like 3.30 in the morning, so we'll see if we have time. But when we do... First off, let us know what you think of this compared to the old way. I think this is better. I understand we couldn't see the subtitles. We will try and work on that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can change that. If you have any suggestions, let us know. Mm -hmm. We're using the developer hub now to record. We had to crop it. We had to do all this stuff. Um, the meta quest is a pain to record. And I actually really like this game. Mm. I actually really like this game now. My, yeah, I really like this game a lot, too. I think it's great. I think my biggest problem, though, with it is just that, you know, the recording problems. And then what I was just going to say real quick is I do wish some people would be willing to admit that, unfortunately, there are going to be types of games some people just can't play. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean get good. Uh, that's supposed to be the whole point of accessibility, you know, like is trying to fix those problems. I think VR has made strides on that. I think it's better than it was. Mm -hmm. But I feel like PlayStation VR has done a better job with that, especially with like letting you sit on the couch and watch on the TV more easily, even with recording. Yeah, that's what I prefer is I was really disappointed about the fact that I couldn't sit and watch what you were doing on the TV and be in the Let's Play 2, like, live. Well, yeah, it. I mean, this leads us to have to do the same. This Let's Play takes us forever. Let's say we record 30 minutes. We have to split that up into, like, three 10-minute recording sessions because otherwise the audio gets off. Mm -hmm. We have to worry about what's on the screen where because, sorry, the field of view is just the way it is. That's not the game. That's the meta quest. And then I have to edit the video together for the first time so we yeah. can watch it to react to it. You have to edit the whole thing together to watch to react to it, and then we have to play it and react to it, and then you have to go back and re-edit it again. So I watch it three times. Yeah. I, I watch it the first time to edit it, and then... I watch it the second time to record to, or react to it, and then I watch it the third time to make to sure that the audio it. is good. And I still have to do it at least twice, too. Yeah. So it's like for every 30 minutes that we put up of this, it probably took us an hour and a half at least. Yeah. So that's why, like, this is such a slow Let's Play. I plan to do a little more of this very soon, and um, we're trying. Mm -hmm. And you can let us know your thoughts and your ideas. Um, but at the end of the day, we are limited by the technology. And... It's a double-edged sword. I just want to conclude here without doing a TED Talk. The reason that I was saying that is because the same way that I tell you, Jill, when you say, like, hey, this is a dumb thing, and it's the developers are limited by the technology... It's not their fault. That's my point. Is like, it goes for both the positives and the negatives. I feel like some of the negatives, you can, you can hand wave away. You know, like, you wouldn't go to a PS1 game and criticize it for not having PS2 features. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I can hand wave away some problems because of the technology. I think but VR is gonna get way better in the future too. I hope so, especially with feet movement. But my last thought on that is it's the same with the positives or the, neg the other negative side where it's like, well, you can't just hand wave away some problems because of the technology and say it's the tech. But then when people criticize the tech, you get mad at them. Yeah. And that's my problem with the community around this. Whereas I don't think the developers are like that. Okay, well, let's save some more of this conversation for next time. You tell me to shut up. Yeah, because, uh, I mean, the part's already no, like I know, I know. 40 I'll be minutes quiet. long. I'm sorry. And we'll see you on the next one. Yay!